Today, we'll start by breaking down the relationship between mass, volume, and density. These three concepts are closely connected, and understanding how they relate to each other is key to figuring out why some things float, why some things sink, and how materials behave. First off, mass is how much matter is in an object. It's like the total amount of stuff inside something. You can measure mass with a scale, and it's usually measured in grams or kilograms. Now, volume is how much space that object takes up. Think of volume as the size of an object, like how much water it would displace if you dropped it in a pool. Volume is measured in milliliters for liquids or cubic centimeters for solids. Now, density ties these two ideas together. Density is how much mass is packed into a certain volume of space. In simpler terms, it's a measure of how tightly packed the particles are in a substance. The formula for density is density equals mass divided by volume. If an object has a lot of mass, but takes up a small volume, its density is high. On the other hand, if it has a small mass, but takes up a lot of space, its density is low. For example, a small block of lead is much denser than a large balloon even though the balloon takes up more space. That's because lead has a lot of mass packed into a small volume, while the balloon has very little mass spread out over a large volume. So, what's the connection between mass, volume, and density? If you know two of these properties, you can calculate the third. A small object can still have a high mass if it's dense, like a marble or a coin. Meanwhile, a large object, like a pillow, might have a low mass because it's not very dense. That's why a small stone sinks in water, while a large piece of foam floats. The stone is denser than the water, and the foam is less dense. Now, let's use the particle theory of matter to explain the difference between solids, liquids, and gases in terms of their density. The particle theory tells us that all matter is made up of tiny particles that are constantly moving. The way these particles are arranged and how tightly they're packed together help explain the differences in density between the three states of matter. In solids, the particles are packed very closely together in a fixed arrangement. They don't have much room to move, which is why solids have a definite shape and are usually more dense than liquids or gases. Because the particles in a solid are so tightly packed, there's more mass in a smaller volume, which means a higher density. For example, metals like iron or gold have tightly packed particles, giving them a high density. In liquids, the particles are still close together, but not as tightly packed as in solids. They can move around a bit more freely, which is why liquids can flow and take the shape of their container. Because the particles aren't as tightly packed as in solids, liquids tend to have lower density than solids. For example, water has a lower density than a solid block of ice because the particles in liquid water are slightly more spread out than in solid ice. Finally, in gases, the particles are spread far apart and move around freely in all directions. There's a lot of empty space between the particles which means gases have a much lower density than solids and liquids. That's why air feels light, and why a balloon filled with helium gas can float. The particles are far apart, making the gas less dense than the air around it. So, what's the big picture? The density of a substance depends on how closely packed its particles are. Solids, with their tightly packed particles, are usually the most dense, while liquids are less dense and gases, with particles far apart, have the lowest density. This difference in particle arrangement explains why some materials are heavier or lighter than others, and why some things float while others sink. That's it for today's lesson. Next time you think about mass, volume, or density, remember how the particles in solids, liquids, and gases behave, and how that affects the world around you.